uh, we pick it up in the second quarter. The commentators, Tim Lane, Don Hyde and Mike Fitzpatrick. Stewart having his third kick and with the unenviable task of uh, trying to curb the brilliance of Paul Salmon. The ball back towards the halfback line. Lee is there. And pass to Watson from Elshaw. In towards Harvey. Harvey getting that one yard break on the defence. And now the opportunity from 35 metres out to score. With Essendon trailing Richmond at the moment by one goal. Harvey's second kick. Is it good? No, it's not. And an opportunity missed by the Bombers. A relatively easy shot for goal. Stewart gets a good lead from Lee. Lost uh, Matt 15 metres now against Baker. So Lee up beyond the half back line. His fifth kick is to the centre line. Jess and Van Der Haar pushing the back. Not a good duel so far. Mighty kick from Jess. Roach and Weston. Rover up Rollins. Forced through just in the nick by uh, the Bombers. Rollings disappointed with himself. One of those ones where he had it for a split second and really had to use it straight away. The importance of the kick out was obvious then. The pass to Lee really set that up quickly across to Jess and it was really in their uh, goal square in two kicks. The ball back to the Essendon halfback line. Baker swinging round to the left foot and putting the ball back and towards the centre and towards Donnell. Merritt to back Donnell up and then cutting across as Neil Peart. Peart running with Merritt behind him. Van der Haar takes Peart on. Van der Haar getting in front. Intercepting and taking the ball over the line. Peart appealing for the holding the ball and decision. It was a dive, I think. Yeah, it's definitely a dive. Van der Haar towards Bahagia. And uh, despite the attempts of Rioli, a good mark to uh, little Bahagia. He's out of the centre wing. Merritt knocking it away from Lee. Whiteman into the centre. Rioli. Rioli across to Peter Francis. Francis in towards Roach. The mark taken by Foles. Who's played well in the back pocket on Pickering. Good mark by Baker. Centres the ball very deliberately. Palm. Lee. Waitman. Tigers doing it nicely. Jeff back to Lee. Towards Pickering. Weston and Roach. Carey. Two-hander out to Bradbury. Back to the centre line. Harvey in open territory. He's got 10 metres on Lee. Goes around him. Good long penetrating kick. Salmon, oh, what big hand. Good tackle. No free. Now ball up. <laughs> Quite a few strings to the Salmon bow as he showed then with a crunching tackle. Well, he perhaps should have got the, uh, the free kick. It was a great tackle. Up he goes again and then he gets a smack in the ear for his trouble. I don't know whether he's got the free for the hit, uh, Mike, or whether he got it for what <laughs> happened a minute ago. I was ago. just thinking that. I'm not sure whether that was the holding the ball or whether that was the uh, clip in the ear, but uh, he certainly got the shot. Interesting to see what happens off the boot here because another miss and he could be starting to worry about it. Starting to get, yeah, starting to get the horrors, I think, as far as his kicking goes if he misses again. He's already kicked one goal and the Bombers at the moment trailing by uh, one goal. This is the fifth kick for Salmon. It's a long kick, plenty of distance. Paul Sam will be very relieved with that one, I think, Don. Well, he's certainly a cool customer, isn't he? He's a cool customer. He's getting the ball so much, I think he can afford to be cool at the moment. He uh, did line that one up with a, with a lot of care and uh, all credit to him. He really concentrated and uh, threw it straight through the centre. Five shots. Two goals, two, and one out on the full. Couldn't be any closer at the MCG. Seven minutes into the second term. 
Bahaja, close to the Ruckman to uh, rove the ball that just falls off their hands. Watson, called a throw. And a 15 metre penalty as well. I think for dissension or perhaps somebody uh, knocked the ball away. And Rioli now is up towards the half forward line. Lead from Roach, good pass. Ball didn't quite reach him. Roach the little paddle, gives Anir the chance. Weston in pursuit. Not a bad kick from Anir, but just offline. Tigers in front by one point. Well, a good encounter at the MCG, and what's happening here? 15 metres against the full back, or the full forward. What did he do? I suspect he was too close to the 10 yard uh, square on the kickoff, which means that he's given 15. Here's the ball now, back to the centre wing, Van der Haar's there, behind to Jess, and Jess, Jess's strength uh, keeps the ball away from Van der Haar, then he knocks it forward, and then the ball is picked up here by uh, Elshaw, across towards Merritt, Merritt lumbering for the ball, as Storm comes out, and Merritt tackles him, didn't seem to retard him too much, but Storm gets the free. High to the centre, Vanderhaar and Jess. Jess almost. Carey, Baker, Don's back into attack. Elshaw from behind had the set. Should have marked that over Rollings. Rollings to Francis. Ooh, bearing down hard was uh, Neil Clark. Francis safely on his chest. Now centres nicely. Anir. Rioli very busy. Long to full forward, might even make it. Bounce back into play, it's a behind. What a freak. That one carried over the pack, bounced virtually on the scoreline, but came back into play. Very bad luck for Richmond, they, they really did deserve that. They played that exceptionally well and uh, used the ball very well to get it into that scoring position. Well, Another 15 metres. Yes. Two in succession from the uh, full back line, and now it's out towards uh, Tony Elshaw. Elshaw moving on quickly for the mark, a, a very flat kick, not a good kick uh, to be received upfield. Harvey tried to come through, the hand pass comes across to Hawker, uh, from Matten. Hawker into the open goal, but he hits the post. Anybody who uh, doesn't like the modern style of football uh, should look at the comparison between the two sides. The way Eston brought that ball off very, very quickly, had a couple of options midfield because they brought it off quickly and it was down for a score almost immediately. In contrast, Richmond are often finding themselves kicking to a, a group of several players who are all marked. A Richmond free kick here. Jet. From half back, kicks to the centre line. Madden. And runs on with agility towards Donnell. Straw on the spoiler. Jet dives after it. Now Watson. Hasn't been a really influ influential player. I'd make my point again there. Jep really uh, was left with virtually no options to kick to. He ended up kicking it high. Madden marked the ball and straight away it was back on the uh, Eston half forward line where it had come from. Umpire Robinson being roundly hooted there for calling for the ball up when play hadn't really stopped and uh, it seemed a, a decision that didn't have to be made. Yes, Tim, I agree with that. Now a play getting underway again. It comes out towards Janelle, who accidentally kicks it uh, back. And it comes towards Tony Elshaw. Elshaw looking for someone to give it to, and uh, he finds him in Big Matt, who's coming into the game well. Matt uh, getting it across towards uh, Kerry. It comes back towards Bradley, and uh, the whistle goes, and a free kick to the Tigers. It goes to Morris Rioli. And there's Jess getting uh, 15 metres away from the end concentration there to allow Jess to get away like that and now a big kick by Jess is prolific to Roach and Pickering getting up in front spoiled his own team out they didn't allow Roach to get a clean mark and Landy takes the ball over the line seems like Roach is competing a bit with his own players there uh, Mike did look like it three Richmond players against what looked like one isn't in the pack Madden knocking it down and it comes to uh, Darren Williams. Williams getting it back towards Van der Haar. Behind him is Jess. And then the ball is kicked away by Carey in towards uh, Baker. And a chance here for Harvey. Harvey threads his way beautifully uh, through three Richmond players. 
gets it across towards Little Bahagia, who takes the head pass running by into an open goal. Gee, the teamwork of Essendon was to the fore then. It certainly was, and they brought it off very, very quickly from that boundary thrown in the uh, in the Richmond full forward pocket. And uh, again, getting the ball away quickly with their hands and running very hard uh, out of defence is what made the difference. It, uh, it is arguable as to what sort of value those long kicks of Jesses are, given that they're, uh, they're not nearly as systematic as the Eston approach to goal. So a five-point lead to the Dons, 13 minutes into the second quarter. A real thriller. Clever play by Baker. But uh, not landing. A, a good position for his team. Kane kicks to half forward. Francis read it well. Oh, plays on cleverly. Doesn't kick so well though. Weston had to be careful not to overrun it there. Did it well. Porker. Vanderhaar. Good play by the Dons. Steady work towards Watson. Oh yes! Always in good position for it, but uh, had to be taken when it got there, and he did it well. His fifth kick, Salmon's out of position. Throwing down the Don's right forward pocket. 13 minutes into the second term, and it's 41 to 36. Essendon, a five-point advantage over Richmond, and the Bombers in attack. There's Big Salmon, number three, jostling with Lee. Bahaji is there to lend a hand. He hooks it back. A good shot. And another hit the post. So a goal the difference. Stewart thumps the ball almost into the center of the ground. That's a mighty kick. Francis overran it. Gets it back, courtesy of an Arsenal little palm down. Jep. Waitman, good move by the Tigers. Oh, and it's even better now as Landy lines up for his second goal and drives it through to level the scores. It was a fine goal set up by a very nice kick by Craig Stewart kicking out. The ball landed almost in the centre. And uh, Richmond seemed as though they'd already arranged to try and push the ball over the back. Two or three runners heading uh, towards goals, and that's what set the goal up. Scores level now, midway through the second term. Madden coming in against Lee, Lee winning, giving it to John Anir. A near tackle by Madden, a high tackle according to umpire Kevin Smith. And the former Collingwood Rover takes the free in the centre and will initiate this forward manoeuvre onto the half-forward line towards Roach. They're not giving the ball to Roach well at all. Taken here by Jess. He was backing up well. Jess into an open goal. It's through. It was good play by Jimmy Jess to back Roach up, who was given a terrible pass to try and get, and he capped it off with a great goal. It's a good point, Don. The passing to Roach has been very poor. We just started to see Francis get a couple of kicks and start to make a little bit of difference to Richmond. That goal might make up for the one that uh, landed on the line and bounced back in. <laughs> Tigers in front. Madden, good thump. Baker, who's done a good job. Salmon, no, it's not Salmon, it's Donnell. Should have held it. Palm, just getting it out to Rollings in time. Francis in the action again. Can he win the ball? Walker in pursuit. Well done, Francis. Ooh! Down goes Egan, by the sack. Bahaja is the toughest player in league football for his centimetres. Baker up to full forward. Salmon. Throw it. Well, a couple of seconds later, Bahaja went down too, so I think <laughs> they both came out the worst for wearing that. But Bahaja's up running a bit earlier now. <laughs> right, the ball back in play again. There's Lee getting up uh, pretty high to knock it down. and. Uh, Taken here by Williams. Oh, that's an easy goal. <laughs> Scores level once again. And we're 17 minutes into the second term. 
And certainly uh, Salmon, who's getting plenty of uh, attention, is getting well backed up by the runners uh, on the Essendon forward line. And a good example of it that then with Williams picking it up and slamming it through when the ball hit the ground. Fourth time the scores have been level in the match. There's an infringement. Someone uh, cribbing into the square and Lee comes out with the free kick. Roach starts leading out towards the half forward flank. Beautiful delivery. Should have held that one for Harja. Back to the centre line to Matt. Fifteen metres against the general. Here and Merritt in among it too. Good play, quick hand pass off. Carey. Harvey. Well, the youngster set a goal up with some nice work about uh, five or six minutes ago, and now he gets the chance to kick one for himself. It's quite right that he'll be put around on the angle there. You've got to line up, uh, the umpire has to line up the position where the ball was marked at the centre of the goal and you'll see that that geometrical exercise is taking place now. I don't think it'll worry Harvey much. It hasn't. The Dons are back in front. Harvey's first goal of the match. Not his first in league football. He did uh, kick one against Melbourne at VFL Park on Saturday. But goal came originally from a uh, gutsy mark by Simon Madden in the centre of the ground against fairly spirited opposition by Mark Lee and he then used the ball very well to eventually uh, get the ball down to Harvey. And there's that rebound factor, Mike. Roach could have been lining up a set shot from 50 metres out had he Precisely. held onto the mark. Precisely. So one goal the difference, the Essendon the Bombers in front and we're 19 minutes into the second term and there's a Waitman putting his head down trying to get it, taken here by Bradbury, Bradbury initiating another Essendon forward move at ball, the ball bounces towards Darren Williams, Peart not able to get it, Merritt there battling hard but he gives it to the wrong player in uh, Waitman, Waitman delivers the ball beautifully across to uh, Landy, Landy to Jeff is great play by the Tigers, Jess uh, put under pressure by that hand pass, but he gets out of it beautifully. And there's a tremendous kick for goal by Jim Jess. It's his second goal and his sixth kick for the match. Jimmy, Jimmy Jess really showed what he can do when he uh, when he puts his mind to it. About 50 to 60 yards out, just turned onto the right foot and really slammed it in. I needed that one, Richmond. You can't question the value of those long kicks when he's uh, anywhere near scoring range. Oh, that's for sure. So scores level for the fifth time. And Lee, a mighty knock, gives Richmond some momentum. Jess to a near. Walsh calling for it, but he goes even longer. Waitman, always dangerous with the hand pass to Walsh, who kept on running, lines them up. This is badly, and Clark takes the mark. See, Neil Clark is a good defender for the Bombers and uh, now he gets it up to Glenn Hawker. Hawker on the half-back flank to the centre wing and Madden trying to hook it back to the player he knew was there, that is Harvey. And it wasn't well directed, Harvey can't keep it in play. Rioli uh, left puts it towards Francis. He's coming to the game now but he slips to the crucial moment as Clark tackles him. And this allows Hawker to gain another possession on the centre wing. It's time to steady and to kick it across to the centre half forward position taken by Donnell, Donnell across to Elshaw Elshaw into Salmon, Salmon falls and so does his opponent Stewart and the ball dribbles across the line Stewart out to Rioli who's uh, slipped right away here from his man towards Lee, Clark late on the scene, too late, Clark or a free kick there, Lee just four to the wing, drives it long, Roach and Weston, Weston's free kick, Clark, busy player on that last line of defence, 
Oh, just kicks too far for uh, Carey. Put him under the hammer too. Good knock on by Carey to Wood. Met by Palm. Donnell, knock on to Bahaja. Back to Carey. All smothered. Palm, Anir. Now Waitman. Played for the free kick and got it. The half back for the Tigers. Dale Waitman, one of the uh, courageous players in the game, are putting it right across the ground towards the half-back line and to Egan, who tries to get it down to Rioli, who's played the mark on the centre wing. Rioli now swinging it back, Richmond crisscrossing across the ground a little, not going uh, that direct. Waitman gives it to uh, Randy, who gives it to Lee, and the general goes down the ground, but a bad handball. Puts Jeff under pressure. Back to uh, Lee. Lee... Essendon kicking it away quickly and defensively up towards Jess. Waitman pushed to the back. Gutsy play by Waitman to stand his ground then. Eight kicks to Waitman. Anir. Still too far out to score. He's just beyond half forward. Seventh kick. Richmond, uh, small fleet have done well. Is he too far out to score? Just. Pickering was the leaper. And the ball out of bounds. A couple of interesting changes. Looks as though just performance the last few minutes has meant that Van der Haar has gone to centre half forward. Now we're 23 minutes into the second term. And Jep getting over the top. But Roach, good play. Takes it out of the air. A great effort by Michael Roach. Tremendous goal. His second. Credit to Michael Roach because he's worked very hard without necessarily showing much touch or confidence. They haven't been delivering the ball well for him and it's made it a bit more awkward for someone who's battling for form. And that showed just how hard he's fighting. He really was prepared to put his body in. It's only his third kick, but certainly a valuable kick for Richmond. And the Tigers regaining the lead. Half a minute away from time on. There's a bad bounce. All played by Baker. Oh, caught one high from Lee. Advantage is paid, which wasn't really to Essendon's advantage. And it's uh, Palm. Between fullback and halfback. Looks for Lee out on the flank. And he gets a free kick. the uh, halfback flank and the wing kicks to the outer wing but rather badly and a throw in now Lee's ninth kick but uh, once again a lack of options for the Richmond uh, players coming off halfback really nothing much to kick to Merritt had said to halfback as the other half that uh, change with Vanderhoek ball back in play again Darren Williams giving it across to Timmy Watson Watson out of the centre wing initiating this Essendon forward thrust towards Harvey who breaks away uh, clear of his opponent to get yet another mark and uh, he's providing a lot of life with his fourth uh, mark on the Essendon half forward and he kicks it in towards an open goal it's Tony Harvey's fifth kick, but he, uh, he's certainly an opportunist, and that was a lovely kick. Really saw the uh, goal mouth was wide open and uh, ran in and let it go. Uh, must have been a good 50 yard kick, very accurate. Had a player been back, he may well have been able to touch it. Looks as if he could be playing in the under 15s, but <laughs> showed uh, plenty of mouse then. So the Don's back in front. The lead's changed eight times. What a match! Madden's knocked Shark by Waitman, who was uh, retarded. Anir, Francis, he's had a good quarter. Up to the forward pocket, Weston in good shape. Weston minding uh, Michael Roach, and uh, he gets it to uh, Tony Elshaw, the uh, former Melbourne Rover, down to Tim Watson. Watson flashing into the play uh, for the second time in a matter of three minutes, down towards the centre wing, and Jim Jess is there. Strong player, as always, to Waitman. Waitman, a good, effective, penetrating kick to the half-forward line. Up is Pickering, and there he's on the ground, still trying to get it, but smothered here by the Essendon player, Roger Merritt. And the big fella surrendering the ball on the Richmond centre half-forward position. Time on being played in the second quarter. At a point, the difference, Essendon in front. 
And a tremendous encounter on this uh, Anzac Day uh, game at the MCG as Clark defends again for Essendon and uh, reading the play better and more effectively as Philip Egan to take the mark in front of Harvey. Centres it for, for Anir. Palm. Waitman back to Palm. Was good play. Still going. Just beats the Williams tackle, but uh, the hand pass was loose. Walker, bad kick. Two against one in Richmond's favour, and Walsh has got it. A long way out on the half forward flank. Hurries the ball in. 27 and a half minutes gone. Rollings almost. Twice in this term, he's uh, had the ball just momentarily close to the scoreline and not quite been able to get the kick away. He kicked two goals in the first quarter. Scores a level again for the sixth time in the match. Now Clark puts it back into play again. Madden tries to hook it back to someone uh, behind him and then uh, Bradbury gets it eventually and kicks it down towards Frank Donnell and uh, the ball is taken away from him by... Uh, Izzard. Izzard on that uh, half-forward flank and the mark here was taken by... Uh, D uh, Darren Williams in the salmon. Beautiful play, a good lead from Salmon, getting clear from Craig Stewart. This will be his sixth kick. And a beautiful, effective uh, use of the football on a pass from Darren Williams to give Salmon this opportunity. He's right in front, he's kicked two. Salmon right over the ball. Oh, he hooks it. Yes. That's a bit of trouble bar uh, dropping the ball, I think, John. That uh, seems to be his problem. It's his third balance. point. A lot of margin for error dropping from that height. <laughs> I mean, the hardest thing he did in getting that kick was getting Williams to see him. Strawn kicks long. Madden and Leah there. Madden, a fine mark. Some good long kicking in the game so far out of defence. Madden kicks to half forward. Watson. Strong mark that. Only 40 metres out directly in front of goal. Bombers in front by a point. Almost on half time, and that's a very handy goal for Essendon. Watson second. It was a handy goal, Tim, and the whole thing really came. It was a lovely kick out by uh, Craig Stewart, but marked by Madden and then brought back in to Watson. Again, the lack of options for Richmond coming off the back line is really what caused them difficult. They're not really getting it past half forward or the wing before it, it comes bouncing back. Well, now the margin is a seven point the margin in favour of Essendon Lee winning in the ruck and then knocking it on again Waitman tries to get it to Rioli but chipping in is Darren Williams he gets a push down by Waitman Williams kicking it now putting Essendon into attack next away from Harvey taken here by Francis Francis down towards Pickering Knocked back by Pickering, but no one backing him up. And Merritt easily takes it, gives it across to Bradbury. Bradbury turning defence into attack as he gets it across to Brian Wood, former Richmond player, down to the half forward line. Scorn and Hawker. Hawker recovers quickly. Good play. Hawker in towards Salmon. But the other player there is Harvey. And there's options for you. He could have given it to Salmon or Harvey. Harvey was unattended. And now he's got a chance to kick his third goal. This will be his uh, third if he gets it. He's taken five marks. All in this quarter, which uh, is an outstanding performance by this young fellow playing his second game. He's certainly a poised player, Tim. He's got lots of confidence, and he should put this one through without too much trouble with his sixth kick. Harvey's kick. Goal run on the siren. Essendon, 11 8 74. Lee Richmond, 9 7 61. A poor one. P it's there. Took it too long to get rid of it. Should be pushing the back, but it's called play on. P it comes again. Gets it out to Lee. Lee puts it around. Knocked out by Ezard. Walsh comes in for the Tigers. Walsh's kick smothered by Harvey. Good play, Harvey. Goes after it. Walsh swoops on the ball. Comes back the hand pass to Rollings. He's tackled from behind. Jet forces it forward. Goes after it again. The left foot kick from Jet straight into the arms of the opposition and Wood. 
Wood puts it down well. Shaw's all on his own, but I think the umpire has found a free kick. Going to bring it back. I don't know which way it's going. Yes, and it's wide. Van der Haar will take the free kick. Van der Haar puts a long kick down towards the square. Salmon at the back. Takes a lovely mark. Good mark, that one by Paul Salmon. So, Salmon now with the opportunity of making it goal number four. One in the first quarter, one in the second, and one so far in the third, but I feel from there, Sandy, it'll be two. There's an off-camera, the uh, senior Essendon players. He's giving young Mark Harvey a head on the back of encouragement. Played well. Yes. Salmon. Sockeye shoots. Sockeye goals. The Bombers move to 14-10, breaking away from the Tigers. 10-7 on Seven's big lead. Salmon looking upfield to say thank you. And actually, he's not going to run up the ground because uh, that would be foolish. And Mark Harvey and the other players know full well what he's thinking. Good mark by Salmon, that one. So it's 57, uh, 67, I should say, to 94. Centre bounce once again with Lee and Madden. Lee didn't get an effective tap away. In fact, Watson and Boz, who pushed the ball out of the middle. Bradbury picks it up. He always kicks long, Peter Bradbury, sensibly. But Greg Strawn takes the mark on that half-back line. Kicks up towards centre wing. Landy, Hawker. Bradbury again. Beautifully delivered kick and Salmon uh, just waited and let his teammate take the ball in front of him with Tony Elshaw. Some two foot taller than Elshaw and took the mark. Fifth kick for the term for Tony Elshaw off camera. A change being made with Wally Lovett coming on and Graham Landy leaving the arena as Elshaw goes goalwards with a drop punt. And away go the Bombers. 15-10 to 10-7 on Seven's big lead. 17 and a half minutes of this third term. It's taken them a long time to get going. Peart receives from Lee. Bounces one to the half forward line, but beautifully for Folds. He picks it up and goes wide towards the wing where the march taken by Bahagia. Lovett's just come on the ground as a late tackler. Van der Haar is loose across half forward. The Dutchman goes on with the handball. Danger once again as the short pass, intercepted by Anir. Can't control it with the one hand. Williams was on his hammer. And Ian Robinson has picked out a free kick. And it will go the way of the man after the football at the bottom of the pack. And the man who really kicked himself into the game in the second term with three goals, Mark Harvey. Thirty metres out, directly in front. Harvey a chance to post his fourth. And the Bombers 16. He doesn't let them down and away they fly. 16-10. To the Tigers who've stopped on 10-7. So it's six goals three. 39 points the margin in favour of the Bombers. An excellent third quarter thus far. Almost 19 minutes have gone in the third term and it's been all Essendon. Yes, they played a great brand of football. It's been a good game in fact for all three quarters. Lee again from the centre. Watson taps it the other way. Harvey misses it. Socket off the ground. Elshaw has been busy this term. Gives it out wide to Hawker. Glenn puts it in high. Salmon and Stewart both going back. The bounce. Peart tries to tap it over the line, but eventually it does go over, hitting the post, and so a throw in in the right forward pocket for Essendon, doing all the attacking in this turn. It'll be Salmon against Lee. Salmon gets a tap, taken by Egan. Egan from the back pocket, the hand pass towards Ania. Oh, Straight dear. to Harvey. Harvey the short pass, fortunately Waitman taps the ball out of the way. Baker comes on the scene, balks twice, straightens up and goes towards goal target Bobby. Only one point the result. 
but uh, poor play by any of you. Scuffle going on behind play. Palms in. <laughs> Anything to worry about. Well, they've put on five goals straight. That's before Baker then, of course. Yes, and there's got to be a problem or two. There's a beautiful kick back into play again. Man in front. Well, no, we haven't been paying the man in front all day today, so I don't know how it'll go. Nothing, says Kevin Smith. Madden and Lee again. Madden to Baker. High to the outer half forward flank, it bounces. Nobby Clark will be first to it. Looks for Elshaw. Free kick. And it'll go back to Nobby. And it'll country road board no. worker. It's a clear downfield after Clark had hand passed the, uh, the ball. Elshaw not realising. Elshaw now, now going to have to now run back. Told, yeah. and, uh, it was after Clark at handball, and the decision certainly correct. So, Tony Elshaw. No doubt go long. Van der Haar is waiting in the square. It won't reach there. Plenty of high flyers. And the free kick has been picked out of that at the bottom. And it will go the way of the Tigers. Kevin Smith saying play on now. As Francis was Walsh got the free kick speaking of Walsh tumbling a punt to Carey drop what he should have taken Rioli the late tackler he gets it out to Bradbury and the mark taken by Wood the former Richmond skipper goes long in towards the half forward line and the mark is taken by the fish can't keep a good man down Bob certainly can't Sandy that was a fine one hander just ran down the arm so Salmon with the opportunity of making it goal number five. Well, it was a salmon sandwich, wasn't it? Because he was tucked in between two Richmond players. Well, good, Sandy. <laughs> so Paul Salmon from 30 metres out. There's the angle. This is going to make it very hard for the Tigers. We said after last week they'd have to have a long, hard think about season 84. I don't know what they'll do after today as Salmon pokes through yet another one. His fifth, and the Bombers continue their third quarter run. They go to 17-11, thumping Richmond, 10-7 on sevens. Got off to a great start to lead by a goal at quarter time, but the Bombers came back to lead by 13 points at half time. A 48-point lead at three-quarter time, and they coasted to win by 49 at the MCG today. Major goal kickers for Essendon, Salmon got five and Harvey four. And for the Tigers today, their main goal kickers, Jess, Pickering, Roach, Rowlings and Taylor, each with two goals. Stats on the match, the interesting ones, Essendon 37 more kicks, 27 more marks and 27 more handballs.